Uh, in this video, we are discussing about uh, supersonic aircraft uh, problem. Here, we are uh, main concept that is coming in this problem is the uh, uh, Macron angle alpha. So, here is the question. A supersonic aircraft is flying horizontally at an altitude of 3000 meters. That is, the aircraft is reaches the ground level. So, the flight is moving at this level, that is 3000 meters above the ground surface. It is moving with a constant flight speed of 2000 km per hour. That is, uh, at here, it is moving at a velocity of, the velocity at this position is 2000 km per hour. We can convert it using our equations in the meter per second. That is standard procedure. The aircraft passes directly over the ground observer post. Assume that we have a ground observer post here and it passes directly through. Since it is, since it is a supersonic flight, the body travels first and the sound is traveling uh, backwards to the body. That is, uh, the bo uh, even though the body passes, the sound is behind the body. So as, as we reach, as the body is here, the sound only reaches here. Our question is to find out at what time the time reaches at this post. So we have we, it is also given. Assume that the average time of the atmosphere above the uh, above uh, 3000 meter altitude is 27 degrees Celsius. So we know the velocity of air, that is the velocity of sound in air, that is a is equal to root of gamma t. That is our basic equation, and we we can find it as 347.19 meter per second. Just substituting these values, 300 is given, 37 degrees Celsius, we can convert it into Kelvin. That is the standard procedure, and uh, hence we find it as 347.19 meter per second. We can find the flight Mach number now. We know Mach number is equal to V by A. V it is given here, that is 555, and A we found out. So we can substitute it here and we can find the uh, flight Mach number as 1.6, which is a supersonic flight. That is, above Mach number is greater than 1, and hence it is. 1.6. In this diagram, we can find that there is observation post, uh, observation post, and uh, the flight is moving here, and the angle subtended is alpha. This angle is known as the Mach angle. Uh, we know Mach angle is equal to alpha, that is sine inverse or sine alpha is equal to 1 by m, or uh, alpha is equal to sine inverse 1 by m. We know the value of m, so we can find the angle as 38.68 degrees Celsius. So we know the value of alpha. Our question is to find out, uh, find the time taken to clear the sound wave from the aircraft and observation post after it has passed directly over. So time t is the question. So if we know this, uh, we know the velocity. We know this distance also. So from this figure, we can find out the value of a b. That is, a b is equal to b into t. That is. A B is equal to B into T. You know this distance is actually this is uh, what this is the distance travelled by the flight. This is also equal distance equal to speed into time. That is V into T. We know the velocity. Time is what we have to find out. So if we find the distance A B, we can find out the time taken. So we substituting it here. We know from uh, figure A B is equal to B C by tan alpha. If you take the angle tan of this angle uh, alpha tan alpha is equal to bc by ab from that we can find out ab is equal to bc by tan alpha we also know that ab is equal to v into t so as we substitute we get the value of time 6.75 seconds thank you